So basically, yeah, that clears a little Kim situation. Yeah, yeah, up. you know what I'm saying? Because that little Kim situation, that shit still got me fucked up that people try to say I snitched. Like, what the fuck can I have snitched on? Like, what can I possibly have said? Like, it was crazy that it was two gay dudes that was in the back of the courtroom. And when I got on the stand and, they, and I was talking, I was just basically bigging up my album. You know, joking the shit, little Kim, I'm winking at her, bugging out because I don't have nothing to say. I don't even know why they had me there. But the two gay dudes, they just flipped. They was like, they jumped, I was like, man, he ain't got nothing to say and walked out the courtroom. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because what the fuck am I gonna say? I don't know if they came together or not. I don't know none of that shit. So let me go. Let me get the fuck up out of here. And that was that. But as a nigga that claimed the streets, you get crucified for just even being on a stand or for even being any part of that. But at the end of the day, I wore that crucifixion with my head high because it was nothing that I've told them to get her convicted. Mm -hmm. Her conviction mounted on the fact that she lied. That's about it, man. I I, I could have told them fucking paint cookies in a plastic bag. It wouldn't have mattered, <laughs> man. Word the mother. So, so it's like, that that right there, when the streets say shit like that, it, it makes me wonder how street certain people are. Like, that, that, that snitching? Word? So what about the nigga that catch a crime with a nigga that they in the, and they in the joint like First 48, and he said he did it. That snitching, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck. They, people got the game twisted, but I understand it, though. There's a lot of people who never lived the life I lived. They never been through the shit I've been through, so they don't know. They just take it for face value, because rap music definitely put a, 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 a sway of thinking on, 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 on the streets, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So let's bring him up to speed. Let's bring you up to speed. To 2011. Yeah. yeah, my man Killer Black, who my man Prodigy talking about. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like this, man. I'm going to tell you I like this, man. A nigga got caught in a situation, right? People, if you in the street like me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me start by saying this, right? For one, first and foremost, I do these streets, my man. I do these streets all the way. I did my crimes. I did my times. When I bust the police, yeah, I did it. It was other people involved in that crime. Nobody went to jail. No, nothing happened to nobody. You know what I'm saying? When I hit homie in the hood, you know what I'm talking about. It was other people right there with me. It was other people involved with that crime. I got locked up for that. Nobody went to jail for that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I got caught with my ratchets, all that. I know, every, I, I'm a move shake in Queensbridge. I make moves, man. I know who got what, I know what moves. I, ain't nobody ever had to worry about nothing when I got locked up, because that ain't me. My pops walked that hood, my family walked that hood. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I got caught in a situation, I gave a false statement. I mean, you get caught in situations, you get false statements, like you know about something and you lie. I lied. Come to find out the motherfucking statement came back, they try to use me as a witness. But I lied, I, I didn't know nothing about the crime. I wasn't killers co-defendant, I wasn't there when the crime happened, I ain't speak to him after, I ain't speak to nobody after, but I gave a fake statement, hey it happens, but I didn't put nothing in there to incriminate nobody, but at the end of the day when it came time for go to trial, they try to use that shit, like, like, like I gave a statement, but go ahead, it's a lie, I don't care, because Prodigy tried to say, oh he got a, uh, what do he say? He got to take it up with himself or some shit. Some funny shit like that. I'm like, my man, I'm a G. Let me tell you something. I, I, I bust my gun to the fullest in the hood, man. I did my crimes. I went up north. I went up north. So in that time when all that's supposed to happen, right after that happened, I came right back to the hood. I didn't go nowhere and hide. I didn't dip from nobody. I was in your face. I was in everybody's face. Nobody had nothing to say. Killer came home, he seen me numerous times in the street. We kicked it, me and half kicked it, everything. Everybody in your crew, we kicked it. I seen him down the years later, down the, down the line. We all cool, everybody. Hold on, hold on, matter of fact, hold on, hold on. You know what's some funny shit? Somebody just sent this to me because you didn't fuck with me though, but it's like crazy that, like, I'm supposed to be this biggest snitch or something, Nobody ever went to jail because of me. Nigga came home because of me. Please, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Huh? Like, and if that ain't real, then what is it? I'm a snitch? The nigga that you say I snitched on was in the streets with me. 
with me, man, with me. Like, like it's not, it's not, it's not a mystery that he was in the streets with me. Then when I go to jail, he goes and runs with the nigga I was fucking with before I went to jail. So come on, I, I can't be that much of a snitch, b. Like, come on, get your facts right. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, you know I ain't trying to send homie to jail. So I mean, like, hold on, I'm gonna show you some. P said he didn't fuck with me. He fucked with me when we was little. But at the end of the, somebody just sent me this. I ain't even, I, I ain't even have this picture. But it's funny because niggas had ample time to say anything they wanted to do, anything they wanted. It's 17 years later, my dude. Now come find out you drop a book. You want to mention that? Yeah, everybody in the hood know what time it was. That's why I'm still here because the nigga was home because of me. But you want to sound like I'm a snitch? I did every bit of my time and for my crimes. I do whatever I had to do again, for real. You know what? Because at the end of the day, that's a real nigga move. But you get crucified in any situation when you in that situation. You get crucified because they automatically want to label you a snitch. But I didn't snitch on nothing because I wasn't there for the crime. I wasn't a nigga to co-defendant. I didn't tell the police where he was to get him caught. He got his, you know, his self caught or whatever. But at the end of the day, don't make me seem like I can't handle mine, like I can't handle, hold up, let me make one thing clear to the people who don't know the difference of lying. At the end of the day, I'm going to tell y'all some funny shit. I was already sentenced to do a bid when I had that, when I had to go to kill a trial. I was already sentenced to do a bid. So if I wanted to, I could have said fuck it. I, they they could force me, I could have said fuck it. Give me a year for life, that's all they could give you for, for lying. Or for, or for disruption of justice. I had more than that already. <laughs> I had more than that over my head already. So it's like, I did that like, fuck it. I'm going to go hold him down and then fuck it, be out. But if a nigga feels a certain way, he going to feel a certain way. That's because he don't know the system. But I didn't go, I didn't do that and go hide or run nowhere. I went back to the hood, stayed there. For what? 17 years later? Stayed there. No, no problems. So, you know, and let's make this clear. Killer was on the streets after that with me. Prodigy with me. You know what I mean? So, I mean, unless you know something I don't know. Well, I'm a snitch at. Unless you know something I don't know. But I'm the one that got the, the, the good looking. I'm the one that got the, the, uh, the praise from the niggas in jail that really know what happened. I did my bid. If I wanted to snitch so much, I wouldn't have did a bid, homie. So you're saying you went on the stand and lied. For real. And, and your, lie, your lie helped him. What you mean? Like it helped him get out of my his case. My lie. Not, that's the only reason he came home. Mm. That's the only reason he came home. Everybody else was an eyewitness. Mm -hmm. Everybody else on this case was an eyewitness. They try to use me as a witness. Well, how you gonna use me as an eyewitness? Everything I said was ass backwards, cause I made it up. I made it up. Fuck it, sue me, I made it up. That's what you're supposed to do when they question you. Make a story up. I made it up. And that's what happened. That's what happened. The nigga came home, nigga see me on the street. I went up north, I seen mad niggas he was locked up with. You think if he just came home and I just go up north, Eight months, a year later, that we're not going to see the same niggas. Like, I ain't going to see niggas like, that know him. I was in the fall building. I was all over the island. You know what I mean? We know the same niggas. But I'm here. I'm that much of a snitch. I'm still here, G. You know what I'm saying? I did my bit. And it's funny that I'm, I'm like, I got a dude testing my character that is not even built like me. Like, 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 at, at, at 13 and things homie was doing. I was getting money. I was I was barking. You know what I'm saying? That summer James Green show different, man. Than what he was doing at that age and what I was doing at that age. But I'm not here to tarnish him. Fuck it. It's, it ain't about that. Because at the end of the day, I know what I did. And I'm gonna still tomorrow hold my head high. Like I did for the past 15 years, 17 years. Because I know what I did. And unfortunately, kill a dead. You know what I'm saying? You talking about dead niggas, man. He dead. You know what I mean? And it's like, that shit hurt, man. It's like, 
you trying to tarnish me where well, I keep it funky, B. Like, I keep it all the way real. Walk, anybody can walk through the hood with me. And this ain't old news, my nigga. This ain't, this ain't old news. I've been doing this, man. One you thing, ain't got to watch my honorage. You got to watch about me. One thing you got to clarify for the people. Talk to me. What since, I got to clarify? Since all of this happened, mm -hmm. have you spoke to Havoc? Of course I spoke to Havoc. Havoc gave me a joint. You know what I mean? But not re I mean, b between all of this and right before Pete came home, mm -hmm. me and Havoc was building on it regularly. You know what I mean? Me and Hav always kicked me. So he never clubs. felt no way about you all these years. Put it like this. If he did feel a certain kind of way, I don't know why, because he spoke to me and his brother spoke to me. And his, I couldn't speak to them during the trial. I, I, we wasn't rocking like that. But after his brother, excuse me, came home, oh, everything was great with dad. Excuse me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it was other situations Involved in the Mob Deep CNN era that made Mob Deep and CNN not 100 with each other. Yeah. It wasn't that situation. It was other situations too. But once that situation, homie's home, that's once that situation is out in the air, it's like, all right, the other situations, that can get resolved a little easier. That's why records came about. P said he didn't want to be on certain records. Or he gave his verse to Nas. He did give his verse to Nas. He probably didn't want to be on the record. But I, and if it's cousin me, it's because he pussy. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, I, if you don't want to be on the record with me, it's cool. If you feel like I intentionally tried to send your man to jail, that's cool. But your man that you, you're talking about spoke to me. You know what I mean? Rest in peace before he died numerous times. So if you want to feel like that, you could have told me that shit to my face. 20 years, 15 years ago. You could have told me that shit anyway. You could have tried to dead my career. But don't wait till now when you drop a book to, to try to glorify your life. Like, it's all that crazy. Like, I'm just a snitch. I did my bid. I didn't do a bid just for holding my gun. I never got punched in my face while having a gun on me.